Hi everybody, Noga Madud. Ningatugos is Mikji Jebi Deluisi. My spirit name is Thunderbird Turtle Woman, and I'm Nigama from Alsabuktuk First Nation. I want to congratulate all the graduates of NBCC for the remarkable job that you've done. It's taken a lot of uh, perseverance. I know that it's been a tough year, especially with COVID, but uh, you've done it. I know you had to stay home uh, many times and do your work from home. And, but you've all done it. And so I'm holding my eagle feather here. And usually I would come in to do a, um, an eagle feather blessing. But to us, the eagle, the eagle flies highest to the creator. There is no barrier between the eagle and the creator. And so this is how I see all of you, that you are got, now going to soar. You're going to fulfill your dreams, whatever those dreams are. You can do it. You can, put, you can do whatever you put your mind to do. And so uh, now you have all those skills behind you. You're going to put them to work, and you've been waiting for this a long time. Your family is so happy for you, I'm sure. Your friends are happy for you. Um, the teachers, everyone, all the way around. So um, you deserve you deserve to have a uh, uh, congratulations on your graduation. So I'm holding tobacco here. I'm going to take this eagle feather, put it down, and I'm going to sing a song. For you. I'm going to sing the Gipu song. And the Gipu is a Gipu, the eagle flies. He reminds us as people to sit in a circle that there is no hierarchy, that everyone has value within that circle and everyone has worth. And so I'm going to sing this song and uh, for your spirits, all of you out there. And again, congratulations on the good work that you have done. The hard work that you have accomplished. Some, day, some days you probably felt like not even getting up in the morning, but you did it. <clears throat> so the four beats on the drummer for the, our ancestors, the ones that went before us. Yo ho yo ho yo one Yo ho yo. So again, I'm going to hold up my feather and to give thanks in our way when something, when our prayer is answered, or when we achieve something, it's so important to give thanks. So on your behalf, I will give thanks. So I'm going to hold this feather and I'll say a blessing for all of you. And I want to say Wilalin. That means uh, thank you in, in my language. I feel that thank you is the most important word in any language. So I say to you, Wilalin, thank you, merci, and congratulations. Have a great year. Daho. Hello, my students. Kiwa was you bemip to it, bemip to a gay, uh, uh, Balida has walking. Kis Kiwa gets got him salty egg, a little lock at the egg, which he gets the, uh, woolly, woolly, bechy puzzle the egg chill, chill, uh, knitch on walk, sit down yok the gay what it was, is it chill nick the gay, which was puzzle the egg, chill nick the gay local, a 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 local
each and every one, the last one to me. I give thanks to all of your students for educating yourself for the well-being of our children. The children have yet to come for them too. When you get everything all ready for the future, and I am so happy that you guys came through this. You know, for all the hard work that you did, don't forget the work that you did is for you yourself. It's for you first. And then it's for your children, and then it's for your family, and then it's for your community after that, and which is very, very honorable. You know, uh, I'm honored that you guys did so well. You know, uh, for for this this uh, I am doing it for my for my community. It's uh, the the Sibai Gawi, yeah, Chiu, Nagai uh, we are all related, so let's work for one another, each and every one of us, because we are all family. We, we, we came as a family when we were first born, and we'll go out with a blast, you know, communicate, communicate with everybody and be kind to one another, love one another. And be careful wherever you go. Just be careful and have a good, good, the rest of your life. Kichi Uliwan, thank you very much. Taho. Congratulations. As I stand here, I'm very proud of all of you. As you should be proud of yourself for moving forward. I raise my hands to the Creator, grateful for life's hardships and successes. No, you were challenged for a better understanding of yourself and your limitations. You succeeded. Thank you for your sacrifice being away from your families. Thank you. On your journey, always take your time to make wise decisions. This is your life. Welcome it. Also remember your teachings. Continue, encourage conversation and teach each other. Each positive step to the future is self-care for you, your families, and your communities. My aunt Gokum used to say, you can feel sorry for yourself for five minutes a day, and the rest of the time is to find solutions for your problems. There is no more I can say, but thank you for making an old lady grateful. Colleagues, guests, and most importantly, learners, what a great day to graduate from MBCC. I could talk at length about the experiences of the past year and the public health restrictions that have prohibited us from doing things the way that we're used to, but instead, I'd like to talk about the future, your future. Post-secondary education is hard, and you could have decided not to bother with it. Instead, you've all made tremendous sacrifices and worked hard, giving up other things that are really important to you to come to MBCC and to finish your programs. But with your sacrifice comes some very rich rewards, increased employment and earning potential. With your graduation today, you've greatly increased your employment prospects. A study of 2019 graduates, one year after graduation in the middle of the pandemic, showed an employment rate of 91%. There's more good news. College-educated New Brunswickers earn on average 35% more than those with an education level of high school only. Studies also show because you've completed your post-secondary education, your families are more likely to do so too. That's important, particularly in a province where we have an estimated 120,000 job vacancies over the next seven years and the lowest post-secondary education attainment in the country. We need more highly skilled and trained New Brunswickers to help our province reach its potential. So that's what's in it for you. Let's talk about why this is so important to each of us in the NBCC family. At NBCC, two things are really important to us. One, ensuring that learners receive the skills and training they need to be successful in their chosen career. Second, 
to meet the labor market needs of the province, ensuring our businesses have the skilled labor force they need to survive and thrive. Your hard work and dedication means we've been able to deliver on both of those promises. You've not only made your dreams a reality, but you've made our dreams come true also. Congratulations and best wishes. It's been our absolute pleasure to be part of your journey. Congratulations, class of 2021. I'm Laura Oblinas, a proud NBCC alum and recipient of the 2019 NBCC Alumni Award. You are now part of the alumni family of more than 90,000 students. 62% of the college graduates in the province are NBCC alumni. It's extraordinary and you should be very proud. As you pass this wonderful milestone in life, you may be asking yourself, what now? What do I do next? According to ancient Chinese proverb, the journey of a thousand miles begins with one step. There are three things I wanna leave you with today. Have a curious mind and continue to learn. Fall in love with what you do. And remember that business is personal. Lesson one, be open to continuous learning and it will open doors for you as you begin your career. When I graduated from the NBCC business program, I felt certain in what I wanted to do. I started out working in marketing and promotions for a radio station in Moncton. Then I worked in marketing and promotions for shopping centers. I fell in love with the shopping center industry. And I stayed there for 11 years. But I evolved over that time, shifting from marketing to leasing to corporate training to operations. My former mentor and boss at the time said I was like a sponge, always open to learning, always open to change and to new opportunities. Sometimes I wasn't quite ready for the next challenge, but I did it anyways, and I stretched my skills each time. Having a curious mind is a key to your success, and continued education is a critical component to supporting this. Lesson two, fall in love with what you do. When I left the shopping center industry and went on to run the knowledge park, I did not know much about the knowledge industry. I saw it as an opportunity to create an experience for knowledge workers, much like we did in the shopping centers. So I learned. I took the initiative to go to a number of research and technology parks in Canada, the United States, and Europe. I immersed myself in the culture. I asked lots of questions to lots of people. I studied and I researched. I became involved in the International Association and I absorbed as much as I could about the industry. I fell in love with science and technology. I became a co-founder and managing director of the Canadian Association of Research Parks and I ran that association for 10 years. When you have passion and commitment and you love what you do, you will succeed. Lesson number three, business is personal. We may sometimes think that the skills we learn in a classroom gives us what we need to find the right job or to set the right career path. But our education in the classroom is only half of the recipe. The other half is personal. Your attitude, your ability to work with other people, to build relationships with people, to be a team player and to support mentors, peers, and subordinates is the other half of the equation. In today's world of social media and online communication, it is more important than ever to ensure that you invest time and energy in building relationships. Build your networks, go to functions, and get involved. If I could choose one thing I am most grateful for about my education at NBCC, it would be that it has taught me to earn my way it taught me to not be afraid to work hard or to ask for help when I needed it. It taught me that I do not know everything about anything. This foundation has provided me with a commitment to myself to do better and to reach farther than perhaps I imagined was even possible. And so to you, the class of 2021, have a curious mind and continue to learn. Fall in love with what you do and remember that business is personal. In the words of Dr. Zeus, congratulations. Today is your day. You're off to great places. You're off and away. Oh, the places you'll go. You'll be on your way up. You'll be seeing great sights. You'll join the fly hires who soar to high heights. You won't lag behind because you'll have the speed. You'll pass the whole gang and soon take the lead. Wherever you fly, you'll be best of the best. Wherever you go, you will top all the rest. And will you succeed? Yes, you will indeed. 98 three quarters percent guaranteed. You're off to great places. Today is your day. Your mountain is waiting, so get on your way. Thank you and congratulations.
Hello, everyone. My name is Taylor Dalstein. I'm happy to be speaking to you as the president of the NBCC Provincial Student Union. This year, our legacy project was to create bursaries for students in need. The student union has seen firsthand how some students struggle with food security and basic necessities, and we don't want any of our students worrying about where their next meal is going to be coming from. By creating this fund, our goal is to help students reach a happier and healthier student experience, so they can focus on their studies. We invite our family, friends, students, and staff to participate in this opportunity to help make a difference in our students' lives. You can send your gift by e-transfer to our student union general manager, Linda Dotlegier at nbcc.ca. Thank you for making a difference in our students' lives. Hello, everyone. I am Vini Andrade. I am the president of the student union at the Woodstock campus. And today, I'm pleased to introduce the valedictorian of the School of Health and Wellness, Frances Ilobi. Hello, everyone. My name is Frances Ilobi. I took the practical nursing program in NBCC Woodstock. It's a great honor to be the valedictorian of my class for the graduation of this year. First of all, I'd like to use this opportunity to express our profound gratitude to all our instructors and to all the staff of NBCC Woodstock for all that you did to ensure that we are one of these here today. And to all the graduating students of 2021, I say a huge congratulations for your years of hard work. It's been a long road for a lot of us. It's been a lonely road for many of us. It's been a challenging road for a lot of us. Many of us have cried. Many of us wanted to give up. Many of us have quitted and we came back, but thankfully we made it here today. As you live here today, I bring you a message of hope. My duty here today is to charge you to go and fly. My duty here today is to charge you to go and engage the society and become change agent wherever you find yourself. My duty here today is to charge you to hold on to all the values you have learned in NBCC as you become outstanding ambassadors of this esteemed institution. NBCC has given us a lot and we have what it takes to go and take the world. Graduating set of 2021, go and make yourself proud. Go and make your families proud. Go and make NBCC proud. May the Lord be with us all. Congratulations, class of 2021. Thank you. I'm so happy to be here to celebrate the class of 2021. On behalf of the NBCC Board of Governors, congratulations to all of you. And thank you to everyone who has contributed to this year's wonderful celebration. I am also excited to honor the recipients of the Governor General's Medal. This award recognizes excellence in academic achievement. The Governor General's Academic Medal was first awarded in 1873 by the Earl of Dufferin and has since become one of the most prestigious awards that a student in a Canadian educational institution can receive. The Governor General of Canada continues this tradition of encouraging scholarship across the nation, recognizing outstanding students. The medal is presented to the graduating student with the highest grade point average at each of MBCC schools. Congratulations to the class of 2021. As the Vice President of Academic and Research, I have the honor of announcing this year's Excellent in Student Leadership Award recipients. This award is given to learners who have been, made an exceptional contribution to MBCC and to the communities that we serve. This year, we have selected a learner from each of our six schools. From the School of Health and Wellness, Montana Pierce, Pharmacy Technician Program. Montana has taken on the leadership role of Student Council Representative and has consistently kept her classmates informed and up to date throughout the year. Montana has shown exceptional leadership outside of the classroom by volunteering at the public health vaccine clinics where she helps the pharmacy team prepare syringes. Congratulations, Montana. Please join me in congratulating our Student Excellence Award winners. In the spirit of formal graduation ceremonies, graduates, please stand. President Butler, I'm pleased to report to you that the graduates assembled and named in the program 
successfully demonstrated the learning standards required to achieve an NBCC certificate or diploma. They've been recommended by their respective instructors and academic departments. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the NBCC Board of Governors, I do hereby confer on you your respective diplomas and certificates with all the honors, privileges, and responsibilities pertaining thereto. Congratulations, Congratulations graduates. Graduates, it's time to celebrate all that you've achieved during your time at NBCC. Open up those grad boxes, take out your glass, and fill it up. But before we toast to your success, the senior executive team has some thoughts to share with you on behalf of our NBCC family. Today is a big day for all of you, but it isn't the end of your learning journey, it's just the beginning. In today's ever-evolving world of work, lifelong learning will be your constant companion. Your dedication to learning is demonstrated by the achievement we're celebrating today, and you will summon it through your career as you continue to learn and to grow. Now that you're part of the family, the MBCC family, we will always be there for you to support your career and your trajectory and your future skilling needs. You are part of a new generation of learners with the advanced digital literacy that is so necessary in today's job market. You are also the first cohort of NBCC graduates graduating from a province-wide class as opposed to the campus-based classes of history. It's a different way of learning, and it's prepared you to contribute in new and improved ways, not only to your own career, but to the province's social and economic well-being. You should be proud of what you've accomplished. You're creating more career choices for yourself and better opportunities for your family. But your impact goes even beyond that. You're joining more than 50,000 NBCC graduates who are transforming lives and communities across our province. Together, we can make New Brunswick an even better place to be. As you begin this next chapter, don't focus on what you don't know yet. You will have the opportunity to increase your skills base through upskilling and reskilling opportunities throughout your career, continuing to add value, create new knowledge and processes, and improve the world around you. Now it's time to raise our glasses for a toast. On behalf of all of us at NBCC, congratulations to the class of 2021. Congratulations! congratulations.